With us now is MSNBC political analyst Howard Feynman of the Huffington Post and Michelle Bernard of the Bernard Center for Women. Howard, it seems like every day brings, as it does if you read a quality newspaper, bad news somewhere in the world. Something happens. Crap happens. Whatever we're going to phrase it. And now the automatic machine says Hillary did it. You know, they should check a couple of facts. The fact is, while the organization wasn't named, the three top leaders were, and that was decided upon after a very nuanced decision-making about how to go after this group and not to make every U.S. facility, every U.S.-owned company in Nigeria an easy, fat target for this group to go well, after. Your Chris, thoughts? I, I think this is just the beginning of what the right is going to attempt to do to Hillary. They're going to back time and replay backwards every event in the world today and look for a connection back to the State Department or back to American policy. Is this when, six connections with Kevin when, Bacon? Yes, when she, was, when she was Secretary of State. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're Secretary of State, you deal by definition in grays. You deal in nuance. That's why her book is called Hard Choices. When you're trying to explain the details of a policy, why you were reluctant to ally yourself full on with the Nigerian army and the Nigerian regime which had committed atrocities. When you try to explain the nuance and the grays of your time as Secretary of State, when you're up against the accusatory culture that she is now in, uh, it's going to be difficult. And the Monica thing is easy compared to explaining or trying to defend everything they're going to throw at her right. from her time at state over the, uh, in the, over the last year. You know years. what I think fuels this? Not so much information. Information is scant. Even the people who say Benghazi all day long don't know what, have a lot of information to give you. It's the fuel is the anger. Yes. The, the, the free-floating anger at Obama and now being gradually shifted to her. The anger is so ferocious that it will power any attack by itself. In other words, the, the fire in the eyes of Steve Ducey, of all people, or Rush Limbaugh, or, or Laura Ingram, is so ferocious that it seems to have weight. Isn't that funny? That hate now has weight. So if you hate somebody enough, then whatever you say about them, seems somehow vaguely material. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, we, I mean, we, we've seen it since Barack Obama became the front runner in 2008. The hatred that has propelled conservatives and Republicans to do everything that they can in their power to go after him. And I, I agree with you. It's unfortunate they're going to do it against Hillary Clinton simply because she, right now she is the front runner yeah. on the Democratic side in 2016. It's unfortunate, though, because it gives us a chance to really sit down as a nation and really think about what should our foreign policy goals be yeah. and how has the U.S. dealt with Africa you mean the big as picture. a continent. Well, let's take a look the at big this. picture, yeah. Well, here's how it starts. Citing a Wednesday report in the Daily Beast titled, Hillary State Department refused to brand Boko Haram as terrorists. Several conservative media figures were quick to blame former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for what's happened in Nigeria, even charging her with hypocrisy. Here it is. Now, word is, because we did not place them on the terror list of officially known terrorist groups, it's going to be harder to go after them. And who exactly made sure that they were not placed on the terror list? Hillary Clinton. For Hillary Clinton now to, you know, over the last couple of days to talk about how bad they are, given the fact that she could have done something a couple of years ago and did not, and the fact that her big initiative last week was to help women and girls, uh, there's a little hypocrisy going on. Rush Limbaugh went further, also blaming the president for not personally overriding the State Department's decision there on Boko Haram. And my point is, why just blame Hillary? Certainly Obama could have overruled her. I just think this is pathetic. I, 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 I'm just stunned. We got 300 Nigerian girls kidnapped by an Al-Qaeda group. And nobody cared or talked about it for a while. Hillary wouldn't call them a terror group. Now all of a sudden, for some reason, we're on a big push to get them back. An Al-Qaeda group, he snuck that one in. And last night on Fox, Laura Ingram cited a previous attack on Nigerian children, in this case against young boys, and asked why the administration was so slow off the mark. This past February, the group burned 59 young boys to death in northeastern Nigeria. No loud calls to intervene then, but now suddenly political elites want U.S. action. Where was that powerful drumbeat for justice against those who slaughtered American citizens in Benghazi? You know, there's the, 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 the concept. First of all, he did name all three of the top leaders to the terror list two years ago when they were saying, when did he do it? This idea that somehow we are responsible for every acre of property on the planet. And if something goes wrong, we should be there. That's not a conservative argument. 
That's not what they believe, is it? That we should be uh, no. involved in the, they, in the, they were, in the they were, internal politics of a country that's not been ruled rather well, like Nigeria well, all these years. Yeah, they weren't the president who ran for president and got elected on the idea that we were not into nation building. Remember that? Yeah. That was George W. Bush. And and I, no, I, ju I just think that, that it's, it's demonology. That's right. Look, there are legitimate questions you can ask about Hillary's tenure as Secretary of State. But as you pointed out, they, 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 they begin at the end. They begin with the demonization. Right. By definition, she has to have done something extremely wrong. The president has to have done something extremely wrong, and they will work their way backwards to that, to whatever facts ultimately they think might prove the case, even then throwing stuff out that, that turns out to be wrong 24 hours later that they never even apologize for. They're just going to move forward in that fashion. And it's, it's a psychological thing, Chris, that these, they, they take comfort in their own fears. It's, it, it's, it's a form of political cocooning, and it's going to go on with this and any other issue they can come up with as long as Hillary's around. Are we going to have a select committee on Nigeria now? Uh, <laughs> By the way, when is the Republican Party taking this keen interest in Africa? I was about I to say, it was, it was very nice to see all these, cons all these conservatives, you know, beating the battle drum for justice for people who look like me. Um, truth is, Bush administration, Obama administration, administration after administration has been ignoring the fact that we have Islamist extremists creeping up all over Af Africa, and it's time, rather than put the blame on Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama or quite frankly George Bush it's time that we sit down and we think are we really so tired about talking about America post 9-11 and are we really so war weary after Iraq Afghanistan Iran and all the other conflicts in Libya and elsewhere that we are willing to continue to to ignore countries like Africa I mean, continents well, like Africa Nigeria is the most populous important yeah, country I've been there. to the United it's States filled with sharp yes, so people have I. Too. absolutely incredibly absolutely. sharp people anyway Wednesday night just to prove this is all about exploitation and opportunism. Former Speaker of the House, Duke Energy, never misses a chance to exploit some horror, called for congressional hearings. Here he is tweeting, quote, Congress should hold hearings on why Clinton's State Department refused to tell truth about radical Islamist Boko Haram in Nigeria. And yesterday, Chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee, Peter King of New York, and Congressman Patrick Meehan of Pennsylvania sent a letter to Secretary of State John Kerry asking him to explain the decisions the State Department made regarding Boko Haram back in 2011. Fair enough. I think Pat Meehan's got his head screwed on. This thing about Newt Gingrich here, I gotta wonder, you gotta wonder. Chris, it, one, a, this is just a proof of opportunity. No. By the way, the reason Newt's tweeting is because he's not on the air. And well, he, he's not using that well, old crossfire rewrite. And, and we're Chris. giving him a bully pulpit. I, mean, the, the, I, I is, hate it, to mention his name. I, it's I, like it's up there it, with Donald it, Trump it, now. It is shameful politics. And I, have to, I would, would be remiss for if I didn't mention the fact that Hillary Clinton, back in Beijing years ago, was one of the first U.S. leaders to come out and say that women's rights are human rights. And people poo pooed it. They ignored it. We are talking about the abduction and God knows what else of uh, just slightly under 300 young girls in Nigeria and we're playing politics with the lives of young women. That's sick on both sides of the aisle. Now, the women's issue is one very important part of the equation. The other not so sub subtext here is religion. It's faith. These are, these were an, there was an attack in a Catholic church in Nigeria uh, where Boko Haram killed people. Because they're Catholics. Because they're Catholics. And, and what the connective tissue here is for the people attacking Hillary and Barack Obama is that somehow they're soft on Islamists. They don't say it in quite the, those words, but that's what they're... Because Obama's a Muslim. There you go. There, there you go. That's that's Just that for anyone who doesn't really understand that you're, who who you're making a joke, it. we should it's say that joke. he really is not a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I can normally watch his spots. I'm, I'm, I'm translating. You and I translating for the clowns. You and, you and, and I, I did know exactly how they're connecting the dots. That's what this is really about. This is as much about religion as it is about gender, I, and, and and that's the connection between Hillary. And and Barack Obama that they're somehow on the other side wishing on this thing. Yeah, they're on the other side well, right. because they're traitors, of it, course, well, by their definitions. And I mean, it, these words they throw out, uh, it's all about trying to demonize. I think it's so smart. And I will argue that the fuel, again, as I said a few moments ago, the fuel of every one of their attacks is not information. Because there is no real information about, there's a murkiness about some of these things, like, like Benghazi. There's this murkiness, what happened that night. But they use that, that, that open vacuum of murkiness and they fill it with hatred. And hatred says, we hate them so much they must be guilty.